Hello. Welcome to A Moment in Art History. Today we'll be discussing realism, what is regarded by many as the very first modern art movement. I hope to bring you some understanding into some of the two of the major artists that contributed to this art movement and why most of us consider it the first modern art movement. Realism was started by the French artist Gustave Courbet in, in about 1848. Gustave Courbet realized that the traditional art of classicism and romanticism was often, oftentimes negligent in looking out for the poor and unfortunate people that were, grow, were a growing part of the French population. Uh, Jean Millet famously painted some of the most gorgeous paintings depicting the trials and troubles of women in this turbulent time in France's history. So, the first painting I want to show you is called The Gleaners. Here you see the back breaking labor of these young women as they glead or gather the leftover wheat from their, to make bread for their family. This wheat was left by the farmers as scraps and unwanted. This is more or less begging. This is what the people had to do back then, just to try to just to try to get by. This is a, this is how uh, it's a, it goes back to the Old Testament and, and farmers in the, in Belay's time would do that. The next work I want to show you is also by Belay. This piece of work is called Women Gathering Switches, and one thing that widows would often find themselves doing in France is going out in the woods in the middle of the winter and gathering what little wood they could carry, put it in, put it, putting it into great big bundles, and then selling these bundles just for enough money to make ends meet. What a hard life these poor women must have had. And of course, Millet was furious about this injustice and he needed to see it stopped immediately, so one thing he could do was make art. Which leads me to want to share with you why myself and many other art historians regard realism as the first modern art movement. Most people find modernism to be the first modern art movement because of the change in subject matter. No longer were artists engaged in making paintings of royalty, Greek and Roman gods, or religious narratives. Artists focused on social issues of their time and wanted to make art that made change. Also, if we look at this final painting by Gustave Courbet, who started the Realist Movement when he wrote the Realist Manifesto, this painting is simply titled The Wave. In it, you simply see what you would expect, a wave. Not real exciting, no. But it shows a transition away from having stories and narratives in painting to, as we see in the next art movement, painting strictly about nature. Another reason I wanted to bring this painting up is it shows for the first time in Western art history, us Western artists looking somewhere beyond the West for a new inspiration. Yes, I would say that the wave by Gustave Courbet is very similar to one of the 36 views of Mount Fuji by Hokusai. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. It's about time that artists start learning from each other all over the world. This is an idea that I always thought was brought to us by Impressionism, but with a little bit of study and this painting, maybe it was actually Gustave Courbet that was the first to reach across the ocean and start using Japanese inspiration in his artwork. And that's great to hear about. So my hat's off to you, Gustave Courbet, for letting me paint whatever I want to, and to you, Jean Millet, for standing up for poor people. I thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and have a good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.